Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Today we've got Nikon D610 review, day 6. Keurig, shooting the world's most popular coffee maker. It's a product photography with a single softbox shoot. Uh, day 6 of my time shooting with and evaluating the Nikon D610, and it's time to play with softboxes, or more specifically, one softbox. Today I'm going to be doing a product shoot of the Keurig K60 coffee maker. Plus, I'm going to be using continuous lighting instead of a speed light in a softbox. The softbox I'm using has four sockets for standard household bulbs, and I use daylight balanced CFL bulbs, that's compact fluorescent light bulbs, although you'd be fine with regular old light bulbs too. I'm using four 23 watt, 100 watt equivalent CFL bulbs in mine, so that gives me the equivalent of 400 watts of light from regular light bulbs. The softbox has individual on-off switches for each of the sockets, which is nice because it allows for more control over the amount of light it puts out, basically giving you one quarter, one half, three quarters, and full power settings. My setup is simple. One softbox on a Manfrotto nano stand, camera left, and a piece of white foam core to act as a reflector for fill, camera right. I'm not shooting with a tripod as I want to be able to move around and see how the play of light looks in the shot, both as I change my position with the D610 as well as moving the softbox position, direction, and angle. I started with a shot of the Keurig in the box, and this was actually one of the most challenging to do due to the highly reflective nature of the glossy box. Next up was a shot of the welcome package, basically a bright yellow folder that held the manual, warranty, and other paperwork. The bright yellow made for a nice contrast against the black background. This shot shows the internal packaging around the Keurig K60 inside the box. Note that the background hasn't gone completely black and you can make out my couch in the living room. A little burning in PS would take this out, but I left it in to illustrate that the aperture should have been higher to make the background completely black. I should also know that this can be a limitation of this kind of softbox lighting as it is not as powerful as a speed light in a softbox. The nice thing about continuous light is that you can see where the light falls and the reflections it creates as you move the softbox and or your subject around. As I shot the Keurig from different angles and perspectives, I just kept watching to see how the light played off it in the shot. The shot above is one of my favorites. I just seem to be able to get the lighting bang on for this one. Notice you can see the background peeking in again. A higher f-stop would have pushed this to black, but then you'd need more power out of your lights. Then we've got a shot of the Keurig with one of the K-cups inside it, ready to go. Another shot of it with a Keurig K-cup, just a slightly different angle, a little bit of different lighting. And here we're back to the welcome package. I like... Keurig's choice of the bright yellow for their documents package. It made for a nice contrast with the dark colors of the background and the Keurig itself. Here's a shot showing the water container of the Keurig uh, disattached from it and uh, at an angle. So it made for kind of a neat parallel type shot, if you will. And a back shot of the Keurig, the back side of the Keurig K60 with the power cord at the bottom. And next, I added a mug of coffee for a little change to the shot. And if you know someone turning 40, you can get the same 40 I refuse to grow up mug on Amazon. I'll put the link below for you. Here's another shot with the coffee mug, the 40 coffee mug. And another one with the, uh, the same mug. Then I changed up mugs for the fun of it. And also because I'm a big Pink Floyd fan, you can get a Pink Floyd Hammers mug just like mine on Amazon too. I'll put the link for that below if you're interested. Overall, the Nikon D610 performed admirably for this product photography shot of the Keurig K60 coffee maker. I continue to be impressed by its performance and the incredibly excellent quality of image files it produces. Check the link below for everything we used in the shoot. You can uh, click through and check out uh, the equipment on Amazon, the best pricing and the reviews on it, as well as the, uh, the cups that are in the shoot as well if you're interested in those. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more videos, more articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography, videography, and technology right here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.